get this question quite a bit. How many photos do I need? And I haven't seen the property, but I'm assuming the agent has seen the property. And they're asking me how many photos they need. So there's a couple of things that go into that. Obviously, everybody thinks about square footage, you know, X amount of square footage equals this many photos. But the unknown, if I'm just using square footage, is how large is the lot, how many acres, and then overall, how interesting is it? You know, how many features does the property have that you need photos of to help you market the property? So um, I'll think about the front of the house. You, know, you need, for real tracks in Tennessee, they want you to have three of the front and three of the back. So that's six right there. Just to show the structure, you know, one down the middle, one from the right, one from the left, or any combination of that. And they want to do that in the front and the back so the viewer can see, you know, the structure and know that it, know what it looks like. But then you can have things like a large um, porch, you know, that, that needs a, a walk-up shot. You can have uh, interesting uh, steps going up to the house that need to be seen. Um, so now we've got another two. So we had to have three for the front. So now we've got two more. So now we're at maybe six photos if it's a large house and there's lots lots of interesting things on the front. There's a walkway. Uh, there's a walk up to the door staircase. And then there's a, a nice porch, you know, overlooking the valley. You might have a shot looking from the porch out across the valley. So now you've got six to seven photos of just the front. So all of those things have to be taken into consideration. And then the same thing on the back. How, is there a, if there's a pool back there, you may want to go all the way around the pool. So now we've got three shots of the back of the house. And now we've got a pool to add into that mix. Now let's say there's a large lot there that has you know something at the back that needs to be covered there's an, a large field uh, that's interesting we just did this out in uh, Kolioka Tennessee it was two acres and it was a long two acres and it was level and then it had uh, gardens and then it had a, a tree line some wood area you know and with, with a field behind that so you had like in my mind three backyards you had the the initial backyard off the nice patio and the nice sunroom that had been built, a thousand square foot sunroom. And then you had the immediate yard that had nice trees around it. Then you had a field, and then you had a tree line, and then you had another field. So you can't just go by square footage. Square footage is just the front of the house, a couple of photos, interior photos in the back of the house. So just want to take all that into consideration and a lot of times I think agents think we're trying to upsell you when you say you need more photos it's not that we're trying to upsell you we're trying to make sure we cover everything so when you get the photos you don't say well you missed this you missed the shop you didn't get the barn you didn't get the pond you didn't get the um, you know fill in the blank and we're just trying to make sure everything's covered and then also on your main rooms you're going to have multiple shots like the living room you'll have three or four shots the kitchen you'll have three or four shots and even the primary bedroom you'll have three or four shots and you will have um, in, in just a like a guest bedroom you might have two shots you might have the shot nooking in the doorway and the shot looking back towards the closets and, and some houses need that some don't but you on each bedroom you're gonna have to have at least one shot maybe two and if it's a large bonus room again you're going to have two shots maybe three if there's some off study areas you might have four shots so all of that needs to be taken into consideration we're just trying to help and make sure we cover everything so that you have the tools you need to market the property.
All right, thank you. This is Kenneth Burton with Real Estate Photographer Pro. Look forward to working with you.